Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Jay. I know I've been gone for a while, but I'm back. If you really want to keep up with me, go ahead and add me on my Instagram. It will be linked in the description box below. My handle is at Jacqueline, the letter H, and three underscores at the end. But like I said, the link is in the description box below. I do upload daily on my Instagram, and there's a lot more interaction on there. So go ahead and check that out if you will. If you are already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I promise it will be worth your while, I swear. If you you already subscribed and you're a returning viewer thank you so much for tuning into this video and without wasting any more time let's go ahead and get right into it okay so today's video is going to be covering my warm weather or you know just summer must-haves and these are items of clothing and fragrances there's a few accessories a few pairs of shoes that I feel are kind of essential to building a summer wardrobe that you can really mix and match and kind of you know add to without spending too too much money so this will be covering quite a few items i thought i would make it as in-depth as possible to kind of help you in case you know you're kind of struggling with building a capsule wardrobe for the summertime i think we'll go ahead and we will start with shoes now for me personally i'm a u.s women's 11 so shoes are something that is very difficult for me to come by in my size and especially in cute styles so what i do that works for me is I will buy shoes that kind of match with a lot more items in my wardrobe that way I'm not too worried about like constantly adding stuff I would love to wear like the super cute sandals but unfortunately websites like you know like pretty little thing don't really make shoes in my size like they go up to a 10 and that's pushing me like I can be a 10 and a half sometimes like forever 21 like I'm a 10 and a half but other than that most places only go up to a 10 so you know that's my l to hold but the shoes that i generally wear i have one set of sneakers that i tend to wear quite a bit air force ones i absolutely love these and it's a funny story i used to hate air force ones with a passion because i felt like it looks like a loaf of bread and i was like i have a big foot already put on a loaf of bread on my big foot that's a recipe for disaster I'm walking around looking like i have boats on my feet but they actually look pretty good and now i recommend these to every single person that i can go on my instagram i'll link it in the description box below as well i have a reel that i did of how i style my air force ones you can really work a lot of magic with these and i feel because they're white they match with everything like there is not a single color that doesn't match with white more so white sneakers. So I feel like Air Force Ones are the perfect sneaker that will match with everything. Up next are my most favorite sandals. I am so happy I went ahead and I spent the money on these because they have been an absolute godsend. I wear these pretty much every single day, especially because I live in Florida. We have warm weather for I wanna say 10 months out of the year. Um, so the sandals that I ended up purchasing are the Tory Burch Miller sandals. I'll double check and I'll put it on the screen somewhere, but I'm pretty sure I had to size up to a size 12 because the 11 was cut a bit small. I'm pretty sure these do run small. I'll put it on the screen somewhere, the size that I ended up getting. I'm a US 11, but I'm almost 100% certain I got these in the 12. They unfortunately do not have the size on them. I did get them in this uh, cognac color because again, for my closet and the way that I dress, these work absolutely perfectly. They match with everything. I don't think there's anything that brown doesn't match with, so they are absolutely perfect. Brown and white, chef's kiss, throw in some denim in there. Particularly for summer, I think it's really good to have at least three different pairs of heels one of those pairs should absolutely be black this isn't just a summer thing but you should absolutely have a pair of black heels like i they match with everything the style will obviously depend on your personal taste but the pair that i have this is the pair that i have i actually got these from aldo shoes i got these like i want to say almost two years ago now i absolutely love these this is like the most perfect black heel that you could think of i went ahead and i got them in the it's like this snake skin texture i feel like that just adds a little more depth to your outfit <laughs> you know what i mean um and i absolutely love these black heels are a must-have for your closet if you are someone who likes to wear heels they match with everything you will get so much bang for your buck which is why spending just a little extra on that whether it's like you know you're spending 80 dollars on those heels 
it's going to be worth it because they are going to last you quite a while compared to spending $20 on a pair of heels that are mad uncomfortable and won't even last you that long and then you spent $20 four times in the year that's the $80 you could have spent on a better pair of heels. The next thing that I would say is a pair of like nude or tan heels. Again, this works with everything. Like if you want to wear, let's say, honestly, you can wear it with everything. But I particularly like like a pink dress with a pair of blush heels. I feel is a bit, why did I sound like that? Is a bit better um, than a pink dress with a pair of black heels. I just feel it... In my personal opinion, it just looks a bit better. It looks softer, if you will. And the nude heels or tan heels that I have, I got these from Steve Madden. I actually bought these for my graduation in 2018. So these are the heels that I have. I will go ahead and leave these in the description box like with everything else. They are a size 11M, so they're not narrow or wide, they're just a regular size 11 and I absolutely absolutely love these okay. the other types of shoes that I think are important to have is a pair of mules you can decide depending on you know the more the colors you tend to gravitate towards and what you're gonna be wearing them with you can kind of pick what style you like I have two pairs that I absolutely love so the first pair are these white ones that I got from Simi shoes absolutely love them they do have like this kind of snakeskin detail to them absolutely love them they are extremely comfortable they are in that kind of square toe which i know is not for everybody which is why i said you can kind of decide for yourself like as far as style what you like i do like how they have kind of this thicker strap going across your foot i find this adds to security 10 out of 10 would definitely recommend these to a friend which is why i'm recommending them to you the other pair of mules that i have are actually in a tan slash nude color because i feel like this kind of goes with everything and the chain detail is so simple like I mean, in my opinion and the way that I dress, it absolutely matches with everything that I have in my closet. The chain does, it has like this clear strap which adds for security, like it's not just a chain on your foot, which I think is pretty smart like to add this because if it was just a plain chain, sis, could never be me. And I absolutely love the heel on these. It's like this kind of gold heel. I absolutely love these. I bought these for my birthday last year, obviously because of COVID, I didn't do anything, so yeah but i've worn these quite a bit and i absolutely 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 love them again would 10 out of 10 recommend them to a friend now the last pair of shoes that i have it is a pair of heels and this is the pop of color shoe that i have recently purchased for myself the color that i chose to go with is this sea foam color i absolutely love these these are also from simi so they have these super long straps you can wrap up your ankles and then they also have like a strap i don't know if you can see it on camera but they have two straps one of them is clear again love that they're actually adding that for support because your girl needs it i'm personally someone who has been loving square toe heels i think they look very flattering on my foot like extremely flattering again if you follow me on ig you already know i always wear these hoop earrings i absolutely absolutely love them they're the perfect size for me they're the perfect like chunkiness as well like they're not too too thick a hoop and they're not too small they're kind of like that medium i absolutely love these i wear the same necklaces all the time i actually got the ones that have my name on them i got these from m jeweler I want to say last year is when I got them you can shower with these they don't turn the color doesn't turn which I absolutely love and because they are custom with my name on them I absolutely love that I've always wanted jewelry that has my name on it I got a small choker that says J and then the kind of tag has hua on it and then this is actually just a necklace that i got from plt which i'm not gonna lie to you i have showered swam so many times with this and it hasn't changed color and i was pleasantly surprised if you have jewelry that's affordable and hasn't turned on you leave it in the comment section below put me on game put everybody else on game because i feel like that would be pretty helpful especially if you're not looking to spend that much money like you're someone who kind of updates your jewelry to keep up with trends or you're just you know constantly changing what you like to wear another thing that i feel like is a good accessory to have pretty good rings i only have two that i currently wear one of them as you can see is this very pretty kind of mix of colors it has blue it has green it has yellow it has pink it has red on there 
I absolutely love this. I got it from uh, ASOS and like I said, I will link this in the description box below. If it is sold out, I will find you guys an alternative. The other ring that I have, which I absolutely need to replace, is uh, this kind of like signet style ring. I love it because it's not too big a signet. It's like the perfect size for my hands, but it is starting to kind of like change on the back. It's starting to go like this bronze color. So if you have any companies where you like to buy a lot of rings, like I said, go ahead and leave it in the comment section below, put me on game. But I feel having some nice gold rings will absolutely set your outfit off. To me, accessories are what make your outfit and for me specifically, it's jewelry. Because I wear the same type of jewelry every time, like this is what I like is this kind of simple borderline like minimalist kind of jewelry works with everything but again having some nice like dainty gold jewelry will kind of take it can take an outfit from a seven to a ten not gonna lie a simple necklace some nice earrings can really just add that extra that extra thing you know to your outfit up next staying on theme with the jewelry i would say is having a good watch i'm someone who i cannot leave my house without a watch i am personally more of a gold gal myself i feel like gold jewelry just tends to look really good on me personally so i have this one watch which i actually got from asos it kind of looks like a little seashell i think it is absolutely adorable super cute the other watch that i have is actually silver i bought this whilst i was in egg and it is a Casio watch. I really like this. It's very simple. If you are into more simple watches, this would be like perfect for that. And then the watch that I tend to wear the most is my Apple watch. Absolutely love it. It's convenient for me. Now, I feel like with an Apple watch, there are certain outfits that just please just wear a regular watch. For me personally, a tech watch and a really glam outfit it just don't go together which is why i have this seashell watch with me i feel like a nice gold watch can really take your outfit there or a nice silver watch whatever metal you tend to prefer alrighty and next on our accessory train is sunglasses i wear sunglasses all the time it is always sunny here the sun is super bright outside wearing sunglasses for me just makes it less harsh on less harsh less harsh on the eyes the pair that i have fallen in love with these are my everyday sunglasses are these these are from indie sunglasses it is a woman-owned sunglass company that is run from brooklyn i am absolutely in love with these i have never owned a more flattering pair of sunglasses in my life like never the shape of them and they're good quality as well like they are a sturdy kind of frame i love the orange absolutely love that and it's i mean it's super on trend if, if you care about trends but i absolutely absolutely love these they are in the style of rockaway like i said i will leave the link in the description box below these were gifted to me but i actually like them i'm always saying this i'm never going to recommend things to you guys that i don't like and that i don't wear myself i've been wearing these religiously since the day that i got them and i want to say it's been a month a month and a half that is all you'll see on my ig stories when i'm out and about uh, as far as fragrance is concerned i have quite a few fragrances but i find that certain scents just work well for summer one of the ones that i recently purchased is actually from zara and this is their Sal de Pamplemousse. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but I absolutely, absolutely love this. The one thing I would I think it's a, a perfect dupe. If you like the Calvin Klein one, this is a perfect dupe for that. This just tends to smell a bit more. It smells like black pepper. It smells clean. It, it smells crisp. It smells like a crispy white shirt and a pair of denim shorts. Like it smells like a specific outfit to me. And I absolutely, absolutely love it one thing that i will say about this is it doesn't last all day like it does not have longevity to it which is strange because all the other zara perfumes that i have will last all day and will be on your clothes until you wash them but this one unfortunately does not have that so you may have to just like top up like maybe once or twice depending on how strong you want your perfume to come across i usually just do it like maybe one more time afterwards but i absolutely absolutely love this and this was $25 and it came in really nice packaging and just the bottle itself is so pretty this is the flower bomb by victor and rolf i absolutely love this i love i love this i am always wearing this it just oh. it's to some people this may not be a summer fragrance but for me this is perfect it's 
It smells pretty. It gives bad B. It gives baddie energy. Absolutely amazing. Smells so good with my personal body chemistry. Like I absolutely love this. And I would highly recommend for the summertime is a classic. Timeless. So many of my aunts when I was a kid used to wear this. This is the reason why I love this. It smells so good. This is the J'adore by Dior. Absolutely love it. This is timeless. Not gonna lie, very much an auntie perfume, but in the best, like in the best possible way. I absolutely, absolutely, absolutely love this. It smells, it smells expensive. Okay. If money had a beautiful smell, this is what it would smell like. I absolutely love this. I love the bottle. This lasts forever and ever and ever and ever and absolutely ever. Okay, smells so, so, so good. The very last one that I have fragrance wise is the Tom Ford Black Orchid. Absolutely love this. I wear this all the time. Tom Ford is, Tom Ford is the brand that they think they are, especially when it comes to fragrances absolutely absolutely in love with this it lasts you could wash your clothes and you will still smell that hint of black orchid i absolutely love this in the bottle like when i first got it and i smelled it i was like oh i don't know about this but once i put it on my body and my body chemistry does what it does absolutely love this it smells so good some people may not think this is a summer fragrance but for me floral equals summer that's really what it is and this it smells so good if you want to stick to more affordable fragrances zara is amazing they have such a huge selection of fragrances would highly 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 recommend that you check them out Alrighty, now up next let's go ahead and talk about bags colors i highly recommend that you have a white bag have something that's brown, kind of tan, have a black bag, absolutely. And then you can add your pop of color. We'll start with the pop of color because we're just talking about that. Those heels that I have from Simi, I bought this bag specifically for those heels. I got this from ASOS. I absolutely love it. I love the silver chain detail on it. I absolutely love this. And what I like as well is that the straps are detachable. So if you wanted to just do the metal chain strap, you could do that. If you want to do the leather strap only, you could do that. If you are like me and you like both of them, I have kept both of them on there. I think it looks super cute. The next bag that I have is this white cloud bag. I absolutely love this bag. I got this from Shein and I'm not going to lie to you. I was pleasantly surprised by how good the quality was of this bag, especially for the price that I paid for it. It has, I don't even know what kind of a bag closure this is called, but it's one of those that shuts like that it doesn't have a zip on it it doesn't have like the little press kind of stud thing on it it does come with a strap that you can put on there i don't use the strap i usually just carry it as a clutch bag it's pretty easy to just take like a little wet wipe and just wipe it down if you get makeup on it you could tie the strap on there if that makes it easier for you or you could if you have detachable straps from other bags you could definitely add it to this and this has a lot of like it has a lot of space in it it can fit a lot of stuff okay you can fit a little perfume in there your wallet your phone your keys your lip gloss and honey for the summertime that's all you need that is all you need next is the black bag like i said highly recommend i got this cute little 90s style nylon bag i absolutely love this bag i think it is so so cute it has the silver buckle detail it does have like the magnetic snap closure in the front but it also has a zip on it which is perfect and again it fits a lot of stuff i got this from asos i absolutely love this bag absolutely love it i think it's so cute and it goes with so 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 many outfits that i have black bags are a staple black shoes black bag black dress henny ghost mode you are ready to go okay and last is this massive Michael Kors bag. I did not buy this. This is not even my purse. This is my mom's purse that I have now adopted and have taken to be my purse. But I absolutely love this. This is the perfect size bag. Let's say you're taking a day trip somewhere. This is the perfect, perfect size bag. You can fit, you can fit your whole life in here, okay? You can put a little bottle of water. You can put some tissue, you can put your wallet, you can put your phone, you can put your keys, you can put an umbrella just in case it rains, okay? You can fit a whole snack in here for later in case you get hungry. 
So personally for me, this is the perfect size tote. In general, I highly recommend a nice tote bag. I know that a lot of people are gravitating more towards like those baguette 90s style or 90s size bags, but you can never, ever, ever go wrong with a nice tote bag. Alrighty, so when it comes to tank tops, right? I have quite a few. I actually recently bought majority of these. I have this cute white one. It is this halter neck style kind of tank top. It is the stretchy kind of fab. Um, so I would say if you are a small, medium or large, I'm pretty sure you could pretty like fit into this if you are a large. I would just be careful if you have a bigger chest. It might be a bit too small for you. And I also got this nice kind of racer back tank top with a raw hem on it. I actually bought both of these from Tilly's. Yes, you heard that right. I do love their basics. Absolutely cute, absolutely perfect. The tank top doesn't have as much give to it, so I would say stick with your size on that one. And then I have this super cute, um kind of i would say it's a tank top it's like a crop top kind of that i got from zara it is in this natural color it's like a like a beige kind of color absolutely love this kind of sticking with the top area i do also love a good bodysuit for the summer i have this white bodysuit i actually bought this three four years ago and i bought this from plt it does have a high scoop neck in the front and then it is a low scoop back in the back absolutely love this i feel like white is such a staple for mixing and matching again these are items that you can dress up you can dress down you can wear them ten thousand different ways and because they're such a basic color again it kind of goes with everything which is why i think they are so essential and so important to have for your summer wardrobe and as far as shirts are concerned having a nice white shirt will take you a long way not just in the summertime but especially in the summertime there's so much that you can do with a white shirt one of the ones that i have is this oversized white shirt that i got from zara i did try this on in a previous haul so be sure to check out my zara haul for you know some cute little finds the next one that i have is actually also from asos this is their asos design and it is a short sleeve version of a white shirt absolutely love this sometimes it can get too hot to wear wearing long sleeve is just not something that you want but this looks so cute it works with so many outfits i actually bought this specifically for my air max 97 styling haul but it works with so many things again jeans skirts shorts if you wanted to you could wear this over a dress it just depends on what your personal style is and it's this really nice kind of linen fabric absolutely absolutely love that as far as dresses are concerned i feel like having a white dress is a must especially one that you can dress up or dress down my current fave right now this is actually from jlux label i absolutely love their clothing and it is this kind of white dress that has these white straps that go across in the back and then over your shoulders it does have a bit of give to it but not too much so i highly recommend that you stick with your size and i would also say just a more casual white dress would be absolutely perfect i think i bought this from shein and i like it it is a bit see-through so you would have to wear black undergarments it is simply just not going to work with anything else but this is cute for just like in the daytime it absolutely works you can dress it up you can dress it down it's completely up to you and what your personal as far as denim is concerned i feel it's important to have a good pair of straight leg jeans a good pair of flared jeans and a good uh, denim skirt and a good pair of denim shorts i'm still working on the straight leg jeans i have not been able to find a pair that i absolutely love so if you have any suggestions please leave those in the comments below i think those are important to have in your closet no matter the season because they look so good but my absolute favorite denim skirt i absolutely love this skirt i bought this from asos the inner zim girl in me was so happy to find this i love denim skirts with sandals okay with sneakers with heels they look so good and they go with everything this is kind of like a i want to say this would be a light wash denim skirt it does have a raw hem as you can see i absolutely love this it's more like i want to say rugged looking like it's not a perfect looking denim skirt it does have like a raw hem like it has kind of like this rough detailing on the pockets and around the waistline absolutely love this skirt 10 out of 10 would recommend 
I feel like Zim or not, this is a closet must have for everybody to have. As far as jeans are concerned, there is only one place that makes flared jeans or fitted jeans that I absolutely love that looks so good on me and that is Fashion Nova. I love 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 their flared jeans i actually have two pairs and these are their flared jeans they look so good like they look so 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 good absolutely love them i have them in a dark wash and i also have them in medium wash and they look absolutely amazing um the next denim item like i said is a good pair of denim shorts these are my denim shorts if you follow me on ig girl you see me wearing these shorts all the time and i will wear them until they fall apart because i have never been able to find a better pair of shorts these are again from fashion nova you know they love that stretch denim and these are perfect they're the perfect medium tone as you can see they have the little rips on them they have a little cheeky rip just underneath your little butt cheek girl absolutely absolutely love that they have like that kind of a ripped hem to them absolutely love these they are the best shorts i've ever had in my entire life because they are that stretch they fit perfectly on your body you're not gonna have like a gaping hole like you would when you're wearing that more stiff denim so i absolutely 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 love these they're not too short and they're not too long but they are the perfect summer shorts they look so good with everything with a bodysuit with a crop top with a shirt girl they look good in sneakers in my tory birch sandals dare i say in a pair of heels i would absolutely take it there if i had somewhere to wear heels i really really like these um if you have suggestions of other shorts that i could try definitely leave those in the comments i am always open to trying new things but i feel like having a good pair of denim shorts is absolutely essential a style that i've been trying to find that i've been, that i have not been able to find in my size and in a cut that i like is the bermuda shorts but i highly recommend i would insert a picture of what bermuda shorts look like these are perfect and last as far as denim is concerned is having a good denim jacket i'm definitely my mother's child i love denim jackets she got us these matching ones from old navy this was maybe a year and a half ago and i absolutely love them again the zim girl in me is literally jumping up for joy because this is perfect they go i usually wear these with my shorts they're not the same color but they're close enough to where i'm like i don't care this looks good but a denim jacket is always a good item to have because on summer nights let's say you go out to a summer fair it can get a bit crispy outside and you don't really want to wear like a jacket jacket this a denim jacket is perfect Alrighty, and kind of the last few of the clothing items which aren't really denim i would highly recommend a nice unitard unitards are absolutely amazing depending on the style of them you can dress them up and dress them down the perfect one in my opinion for dressing up and dressing down is this white unitard from naked wardrobe it is double lined so you're never going to be able to see like your undergarments obviously you have to wear stuff that's seamless would work perfect with this it is high kind of neck like a mock uh turtleneck and it has a zip in the back it has short sleeves on it and it is absolutely perfect i know some people tend to wear them back to front so they can you know show some cleave with it it looks strange when i do it so i just don't play with that but i've seen the girls with the boobs sis it looks absolutely amazing another item that's actually from uh naked wardrobe are these cream leggings that they have but if you wore like a nice super colorful blouse or shirt with these absolutely amazing a nice bodysuit you could wear like a bandeau i usually wear it. it comes as a set and it comes with this um cream not front crop top absolutely love this another super versatile item you can wear it as a set wear them you know not together what was i wear them separately i could not think of the word this crop top actually looks really really good with a denim skirt a pair of jeans so highly recommend that one thing i will say is sets are really good to buy because you can mix and match what you can wear them with you can wear them together you can wear the bottom separately separately wear the top separately and you have a lot of options especially when they're in neutral colors like white cream beige taupe brown black gray navy blue works with so many things in your closet so i highly highly recommend just a nice pair of cream leggings these are double lined so you're not going to be flashing any moose knuckle any camel toe 
whatever you want to call it um and then up next these are possibly my favorite little non-denim shorts they are these cute pleated shorts that i got from shein i've worn these so many times and they look absolutely 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 so cute i would say having shorts that are not denim add those to your closet neutral colors makes it e even easier to wear you can also add tailored shorts which i have a pair i got these from shein as well they're this very pretty kind of like uh i want to say like a nude kind of blush color absolutely love these they look so good definitely perfect for like brunch even just running errands i wear these a lot when i run errands and it just makes your outfit look dressed up without you actually having to be dressed up at all so absolutely love these the last items that i have is actually two hats i'm a baseball hat person absolutely love a baseball cap it's just it's a bit of me i have this new york yankees hat this has gotten me into some interesting conversations because i wear this and people start saying all these things that yankees fans say to each other and i'm just like i just like the hat <laughs> so if you care about that i wouldn't get one that has a logo i just like the way the hat looks bucket hats are super cute the one that i have is reversible so it's this cute uh cow print on the inside and then it's black on the outside and i just switch depending on however i feel black is absolutely perfect it goes with everything matches with everything that you could possibly imagine Whew. That was a long video let me know what some of your summer must-haves are as far as clothing is concerned if i left anything out let me know in the comments below i'm always wanting to put me on game sis put me put me absolutely up on game and let me know what of these items you will be interested in adding to your closet if you buy anything that i recommend please tag me in the pictures i'm always saying this but i really do love to see it but otherwise thank you so much for tuning into this video and i will see you guys on the next one bye